For every eight ounces of silver that is mined from the earth's crust, only one ounce of gold is mined. That puts the ratio of silver to gold in the ground at 8 to 1. The historical price ratio is 15 to 1. That is, it would take 15 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold. But today, the price ratio is not 20 to 1, or 40 to 1, or 60 to 1. It's 83 to 1. What if the gold ratio were to drop down to just 40 to 1? That would be a quick double on the silver price. It could happen. Look at this chart. The last time silver was at 40 to 1 was in 2011, during a debt ceiling crisis. It stayed in that range for a couple of months, from March to May. And today we find ourselves at the precipice of another debt ceiling cliff. It could go either way. I don't know if they're going to get it solved this time. Silver at 40 to 1 could be a good time to sell a chunk of the silver stock, but not to hold these dollars, but rather to buy gold. That's right, you could ratio out using these dollars to rotate into gold. Over time, accumulating a large stack of silver can become cumbersome. The storage becomes challenging, especially when dealing with a standard home safe. And then there's SHTF. You know what that is. When the scat hits the fan. That can mean different things to different people. In the area where I live, the risk of wildfires during the summer season is a constant concern. Just three years ago, our home was under threat with a level 3 evacuation order for the area. Our go bags were at the door. Under such a situation, having a large silver stack would be a liability. Silver's bulkiness and weight make it impractical to carry along. This is where gold shines. Rebalancing the gold-silver ratio in my stack was worth considering if we hit that 40 to 1 ratio again. Because of premiums, we wouldn't get exactly double the value of gold if we ratio out but it could be close, depending on how we buy our silver. Try not to pay too much on premiums to buy fun coins. That sounds more like collecting than stacking. Don't buy silver eagles. The premiums are stupidly high right now. As long as you're buying silver with low premiums, this works as an exit plan. There are deals out there. Watch for them. Just yesterday, I saw Britannia's at 11 cents over generic silver rounds. Some other things to keep in mind. Avoid accumulating debt by buying silver. It's unwise to rely on credit cards in hopes of making a quick profit. Chances are high that you will end up losing money. Silver stacking is a practice that requires a long-term commitment. At least that's my approach. Keep cash on hand. We've all got bills to pay and we need this stuff. Get a side hustle. Extra money coming in could be put towards stacking. I've been spring cleaning these last couple of months, selling on eBay stuff that's accumulated over the years and isn't needed anymore. That money could go to buying silver. The ratio is likely to creep up again after a sudden drop, and one could just keep riding this roller coaster. If you've stuck around till now, then thanks for watching. Have a great day.